There's two things guys love, yeah? Sex and drugs. So, let me introduce you to my van. Would you like- Hey officer, you and me back of the van, I got the Viagra, let's take care of business. <laughs> I think I may have fucked up. Maybe a bit. By passing this cop at like... Uh, probably... 70 if I was to guess. Maybe 70 miles an hour. Um... Okay, this is gonna be fun. This isn't even the scenario, I'm just about to set up for that, but... I mean, if it happened, it happened. I'm gonna get... A colossal bollocking. Do I have any guns on me? No, I do not. That is good. And, uh, probably this is going to be a ticket. I don't know, I'm not actually sure how fast I was going. I'm thinking if I cooperate, and maybe I could get him to knock the ticket down a bit. You know, not like I got 340 grand in my pocket. <laughs> uh, that's... Anyway, what's up guys, GT Game here, and welcome back to OCRP, and big update, we got a fuel script, you might have noticed in the bottom left, I'm actually running low on fuel at the moment, and uh, all the petrol stations work, and for the first time ever in OCRP, jerry cans, jerry cans work. So yeah, that's certainly good. Come on, carp, do you have to take, like, forever, seriously? Oh, uh... Hmm. I like the look of this. Uh, I'm not wanted, am I? For the love of God, if I'm wanted. No? I've got a lot of tickets. Oh. Guns and... Felonies. That's a good... That's a good combination. Hey, how's Morning, it going? Sir. Trooper Knight with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. Uh, the reason for the stop is... Uh, I clocked you doing 72 miles an hour back there, down uh, Route 68. Any particular reason for that? Oh, damn. I wasn't really paying that much attention to my speedo, to be honest. It's quite foggy yeah, out. I was looking at the road all the time. It's night. Night won't let us go. Okay, sir, as well as that may be, in foggy conditions like this, you should be paying attention to your speed a little bit more. So, uh, can I have your license and registration, please? Uh, yeah, sure, here you go. My name's Nicholas Purton. That's P U R T O N. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Purton. You stay right here with my colleague. I'm just going to return to pick up for a moment. Okay. Uh, okay, Mr. Purton. Here's your license and registration back. And a bit of bad news, sir. I've got a citation for you here. I kind of guessed that, I'll be honest. 22 <laughs> over. Uh, as much as you were being honest with me, sir, uh, the law is still the law. So, your citation is going to be for speeding 20 to 29 over. As I say, I caught you doing 72 and a 50. This is going to come with a $3,000 fine and also four license points onto your license. Uh, according to our records, you already have three, so this will take you up to a nice seven. I have three points? Then. According to our system, so you already had three points, yes. Uh. Oh, look at that. I guess I do. I didn't know that. Probably a good idea to keep an eye on it, though. Uh, yes, sir. You have five more before your license is suspended. So, uh, if you're going to do uh, those kind of speeds, take it to the racetrack. Okay. Okay, sir. So I'm just going to need your signature down here at the bottom. Obviously, Obviously. This, is not guilt. Nope. this is really accepting that you're going to pay the citation within the next month. If at any point you deem you do not wish to pay this, and uh, it's falsely given to you, you are welcome to try it at the end of, at the end of month in court. Okay, nah, that's fine, I accept it, I didn't realise I was going that quick. Nah, that's fine. Uh, Deputy, if you want to stand back a little bit so I can issue a citation. Yep. It's only four grand. No, that's not that much, honestly. I'm more worried about the points, because if I get 12, I lose my licence. I have so many Plans unpaid. I think you can pay that at any point between now and the end of the month. Never mind, you've paid it now. Wonderful, sir. Yeah, I got a love electronic invoices, though. Eh? Ah, absolutely. This top copy is yours. This bottom one is mine. Uh, I'll advise you, sir, obviously, if I catch you speeding again next time, it's probably going to be a bigger fine and more points, and you could lose your license. So, yeah, if, if you want to 
start breaking the uh, posted signs. Go go to the racetrack down at 400 and blow off some steam down there, okay? Oh, I'm going to show you. You won't catch me again. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, sir. Wonderful. Okay, once me and my uh, colleague get back in our vehicles and shut off our emergency lights, you're free to exit the vehicle or carry on about your day. Okay, have a great day, officer. Yeah, I'm not driving off. I'm going in the fucking shop. Thanks for the backup, Dep. And I'm going to set up my next yeah, character. You guys are going to love him. So I guess I'll bring you back then. Okay, guys, I'd like to introduce you to Barry McCockiner. <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Barry McCockiner, PhD. Um, this is my van, my nice new van, shiny, big and shiny. And uh, ignore the mess in the bottom corner. We're going to go sell some stuff to literally anyone. <laughs> I just want to sell some shit. So uh, I'm going to hit the road now and we're going to try and find some potential customers. What are we selling? Uh, you'll find out. I uh, don't want to spoil the surprise for you. My knuckles just clicked. So yeah, um, <laughs> this is Barry McCockiner and let's see if he can sell some stupid shit. So yeah, I'm not going to discriminate. I'm just going to try and sell it to the first person I see, whether they are a sieve, whether they are a cop. I don't know. I don't care. I just want to sell them some stuff. Uh, we do need to get petrol, so... Well, sorry, gas. Um, so I'm going to head up Panorama Way. And uh, hopefully we'll bump into someone. I know that there's a few cops in town. There's one on a bicycle. I really hope I can get the bicycle cop. That sounds freaking awesome. And uh, also there's cops in cars. And there's a sieve running around. So... Uh, Hopefully we can find someone, and it shouldn't take too long. But as I said, I need to fill up with some gas first. Uh, there's a petrol station here. Gas station. Sorry, I'm not American, okay? Jeez, get over it. Right, new fuel script. Exit to fuel your vehicle. And you just simply press X. And it counts up very slowly. The, well, fairly slowly, about real-time speed. And... Uh, should fill it up and it actually charges me as well so uh, I'm gonna fill my van up and go and hit the road okay so while I was filling up I noticed the sound of an airplane yeah haha <laughs> could this be our first customer or is he about to take off and fly out of my life he's being kinda legit so I'm gonna be legit I'm not gonna drive up to his plane Come on, dude, you taxiing? Going back to the hangar? Yep, that's fine. Going to approach very slowly. That bird is just major fuck. Oh, there he goes, kind of. This is so stupid. <laughs> oh. Hey, how's it going, my friend? You. There's two things guys love, yeah? Sex and drugs. So, let me introduce you to my van. Would you like to buy some Viagra? It'll make you last longer, but it will shorten your life expectancy. Great stuff, though. You, you trying to say I can't get it up, man? You, you think an uh, old man like me can't get it up? Nah, but everyone needs a bit of help now and again. Maybe she's a minger. Maybe you don't have to put the bag over her head this time. Just buy some drugs, take them, glass of water. You can last all night, my dude. You know you wanna. <laughs> no, man. No, I can, I can get my dog up all right, man. Okay, you sure, man? Great price. Maybe buy some for the kids or something. Oh, God. Not uh, what I want to say. I don't take stuff from people in a van, man. Okay, my friend. If you need me, hit me man, up. I my number's smart, 37358. Just hit me up any time. The name's Barry. What was that? My number's 37358. Hit me up any time. Alright, man. I'll put you in my, my contact list, but... I don't need a bag, man. Okay, my friend, let me know if you do. Change your mind. And you have a great day. Have fun in your plane. <laughs> you do, man. I'm oh, determined to sell some... Douchebag. Fucking trying to sell me Virgo. The fucking youth. Fuck you. 
I'm determined to sell some Viagra. I'm gonna do it. It'll be a uh, <clears throat> hard sale. <laughs> no, let's not go there. Right, I want to hit a cop. No, let me rephrase that. I really need to rephrase a lot of things I say. I want to find a cop and sell them some uh, dick juice. That's going to be my brand name, I just decided. Dick juice. <laughs> Come on, there's got to be a cop somewhere. Ooh, okay. That's certainly a uh, sieve. A lot of people fly in today, apparently. It's kind of tough to chase a helicopter in a van. I don't know if you've ever tried it, but really don't recommend that. Well, oh, there's got to be a cop at the station. Nope, the one time, the one time I wanted it to be. Okay. Um, let's keep going. Oh, 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 oh. Police officer. I stopped. I'm gonna try the same sales pitch. It works. <laughs> I, I, I hope it works. Uh, windows, doors, whatever. Trunk. <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you doing? Hey, how's it going, officer? There's two things guys love, sex and drugs. Would you like to buy some Viagra? It'll make you stiff where you need to be. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. You sure? It'll make you last forever. Your girlfriend will love me, your girlfriend will love you more. Happy marriage, kids, a whole lot. Just buy some Viagra, it's great. It will make you stiff for days on end. Make sure on your life expectancy. <laughs> nah, man, I'm good, thank you. You sure? I'm good, sure, yeah. Would you like a free sample? No, thank you. Honestly, it's good shit. I believe you, but uh, I don't need it. Okay, if you need me, just hit me up on 37358. That's the number. Dick juice is the okay. one. <laughs> I'm having a lot more fun than I should be. I should be. I should do this job in real life. Okay, let's go. I'm determined to sell some Viagra to a fucking cop. I'm thinking uh, if I hit the highway, that could be interesting. Because <laughs> selling Viagra on the side of a highway, that just sounds like a recipe for disaster. Is that a cop? It is, it is, it is. <laughs> Go on, cop. Where are you going? God damn you. <laughs> You're gonna go? I know you watched that jank shit. Don't even try it yet. He's gonna pull me over. Let's make this jank as fuck. <laughs> no, he's not gonna put out after me. God, that message in the corner is annoying. I don't know what's causing that, but it's annoying me as well. Okay, let's turn back and sell some Viagra to this guy. Yep, we're clear. Up. Hey, how's it going, my friend? Would you like to buy some Viagra and make you go for hours in the bedroom on end? Not with me. I'm good. I'm good, though. Thanks. You sure? Because this is kind of a uh, hard sale. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I definitely do. You know who might be interested is the firefighters down at the fire station. Really? Do they have some trouble? Do yeah. they need the uh, help with the fire axe? Yeah, they, they might need, you know, their hoses getting charged and, you know, the pump needs to get going. Oh, uh, those hoses are squirt better than ever before. They'll work longer as well. You sure you wouldn't want a free sample? Yeah, I'm good, man. Thanks, so. though. I mean, if you're 100% positive, then uh, hit me up in the future on 37358, the best Viagra in town. It's called Dick Juice, my gotcha, own blend. Thanks, man.
<laughs> Alrighty. I love the way they're fine with it. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not breaking any laws. I'm dodgy as fuck, but I'm not breaking any laws. I bet there's no firefighters here. I guarantee it. Mm. You see, this is where creativity comes into play. And what the hell is that there? Uh... Open the pharmacy? Yes, please. Why can I not open the pharmacy? Ah, I'm not the right job. God damn it. Let's just check they're not out back or something stupid. Keep out. No. What's this one? Uh, I kind of want a helicopter, but no. Okay, so... If the cop wanted to play me... Um, celebrates first sale to fire crew. Um, uh, let's go for 30 bucks. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> Time to hit the road once again. Right, as I said, I want to hit the highway. See if we can get anything on the highway. Hmm, interesting. No cops on the highway at all. Is that one behind me? I'm actually not sure. Uh, yes it is. <laughs> oh god, what are the chances of that? Okay, I'm going to intentionally get pulled over by him. Um, do some jank shit. You must have saw that. Come on, dude. You must have saw that. Yes. Nice. So, how to look jank 101. I know, I'm pulling into the yellow jack. Uh, so... <laughs> Front wheels on the curb, why not? And... <laughs> hey, how's it going, my friend? Sex and drugs, that's what you need. Do you want to buy some dick juice? Five dollars. Free sample. Sir, get back in your vehicle right now. You show it, mate. You can buy some dick juice right now. I'm Home blend. In your now. Look, man. I know we all have trouble getting up in the bedroom. All you need is a little bit of dick juice, and it'll help you out a lot. Sir, this is a traffic stop. Back in your vehicle. No, nah, this now. is a sales pitch, officer. So, uh, dick juice. Yeah, you got a free sample. It's five dollars per pill. It's unlimited Sir, pills. You have to the count of three to turn around and return to your vehicle. God, Otherwise, you people are I such a hard you. sell. God. Do do do. Um, is bum bin an emote in here? I don't think it is. Damn it. Uh, reaches in van and actually no, I'm just gonna do reaches in van because why not? <laughs> do do do. Rummaging. Okay, sir. Sir, stop rummaging in the back of your van. Pay attention to me, please. That's fine, I found it now. Here you go, officer. Free sample of dick juice. Sir, I, I'm not interested in any samples. You're currently on a traffic stop. Okay? So you're definitely well, sir, sure you don't you want dick juice? Why did you not come to a complete stop on Route 68 when I signaled you to do so? Because I figured this would be a better place to do a sales perch. So, I from 1 to 10, how would you rate my sales, sales perch? perch? On Sir, the reason for the stop is for the erratic swerve I saw you take back there. One minute you're going down Panorama and then you swerve back onto Route 68. That was the reason for the stop. You getting out and approaching my vehicle, 
completely unwarranted. You should not be doing that on a traffic stop. At this moment in time, I'd like to see your license and registration. Okay, my friend, here you go. My name is uh, Barry McCarkin of PhD. Hey, officer, would you like to try some dick juice? You okay, guys. Sir, you're going to stay right there. I'm going to run your ID. And you're not going to get back in your vehicle. You're not going to rummage in the back of this van. You're going to stand there still. Okay? Are we understood? Oh, I understand, officer. Here you go. Here's your free sample. <laughs> I don't want a free sample, sir. God, you guys are making this tough. Do you want me to make you tough? Like, honestly, I can make you real hard. Hey, how's it going, officer? Do you want to buy some jig juice? The, f the finest Viagra in town. I, I, think, I think we've already spoke about this, and uh, I'm still still on the no. Okay, I got your uh, free sample here. Try this. Just don't uh, do it in front of your colleagues. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that even if I did want it, this is definitely not an appropriate time to be doing that. Hey, it's fine, man. Just put your seat back a bit. You can still sit down, kind of. It'll just be a bit more, bit more uncomfortable. Save some for the bedroom. It's five dollars a pill. Oh, uh, hold on. Okay, no worries. Here's your free sample. <laughs> just gonna keep giving them free samples. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, if I take this free sample, are you gonna gonna leave me alone? Yeah, sure. Why not? Here you go. Here's a free sample. Hey, officer. Right. Here's a free sample. It's called Dick Juice. It's my own blend. I'll be right back. If you give Sir, me a fucking ticket. Totally not interested right now. At this moment in time, you are going to be receiving citation for careless driving. Which is a two thousand dollar fine and three points on your license. You want to go ahead and sign at the bottom here. This is not an admission of guilt. It's merely acceptance of the citation I'm giving you as we speak. Well, no, I don't really want to sign because what I did was not illegal. Sir, you swerved from one lane to another over the dirt median. Nah, no, no, no. I didn't go on the dirt. I didn't even cross the white lines. Actually, it was where the road had no markings. I was veering right and then I went left. I veered by no more than five feet. That's not careless driving. Aggression. I never left the carriageway. Here you go. Buy some Viagra. <laughs> From my perspective, sir, I did for otherwise. I have dash cam footage to prove this. If you don't go ahead and sign this, then it's going to be a serious charge further up the line and we can arrest you on the spot. As I say, that your signature is not an admission of guilt. It's merely acceptance of the citation. If you wish to fight it, you are more than welcome to do so at the end of the month in court. Funny enough, I have dash cam footage as well. Which shows me not going on oh, the dirt. That's splendid then. That's splendid then. What you can do ahead, so is go ahead and sign here and then we can contest it at court at the end of the month. Oh, I will, trust me. Okay, all I need is your signature at the bottom. I'll issue you your citation electronically. As I say, you don't have to pay it, you can wait for the court date, that's not a problem. Oh, my bad, muscle spasm. Side effect of the Viagra. Here, try some. I don't want any, sir. Oh, you must I now. After giving me a ticket and all the, the grief I've been through, you must take some Viagra. It's mandatory at this point. Okay, so can you confirm to me that you've received your citation electronically? No, no, I've got no internet. <laughs> okay, then. So, this top copy is yours. I keep the bottom copy. As I say, you are more than welcome to bring this up at the end of the monthly cup. I will be there with my dashcam footage, as you will be with us, so it's, uh, it's down to the judge then, at the end of the month. Okay. Oh, I forgot one last thing. Okay, Here's your free this. sample. Here you go. I don't want it, sir. Tough luck. <laughs> Mother fucker. I didn't go on the dirt. I'm convinced I didn't go on the dirt. Uh, I don't know. Well, I've actually got camera footage, so I'll check. If I went on the dirt, then I'm wrong, but if I didn't, then I'm not wrong. Hey, look at that. It's the fire department enjoying my Viagra that I got them. Hey, guys, hope you're enjoying that. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. It's good, yeah? Awesome, have a great time. Just you two and some Viagra. Because, you know, as you do.
This is actually really hard to get a sale. Not that wasn't actually a pun. Uh, I'm gonna try once more. Once more. Shit. I just went the wrong way then, one way street. And that cop did nothing about it, apparently. Oh, yes, he did. Fuck. Actually, no, this is good. I've also got a brand new sales pitch. So, uh, let's see how this goes. Yep. There it is. Wow. It's a red light, you fucking jackass. Right, new sales pitch. Pull it into here, because why not? <laughs> Come on, officer, get up behind me, why not? Um... Hey officer, you and me, back of the van, I got the Viagra, let's take care of business. <laughs> oh, didn't mean to close that. Ramaging. <laughs> uh, grabs bag of pills and closes trunk. <laughs> oh, this is great. Gotta quickly close the trunk. <laughs> this is gonna be fucking awesome. Sir, can, can you get back into your vehicle, please? Yeah, sure, why not. First of all, officer, would you like to try some dick juice? Here you go, here's your free sample. It's $5 a pill, it's the best Viagra in town, homemade blend. Just, just stick, stick it in your mouth, and uh, you'll be hard in no time. Trust me, it's the best in town. You'll go forever with can us. You, can you get back into your vehicle, please? Okay, we'll take care of business at my van. Why not? <laughs> uh, I wonder if I can open the side door. I should be able to. Um, uh, doors. Ah, oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, grabs more pills because why not? Places in separate <laughs> baggies. Oh, this is fucking awesome. That was the best sales pitch ever. Would you like my plate hard on one? Sir, get back in your vehicle. I'm not gonna ask again. Dude, I'm at my vehicle. Come on, man. Just. Come buy some Viagra, business done, go home to your wife, and whatever. Sounds like a good day to me. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep playing around in the van. <laughs> playing around in van. Oh, I'm not gonna stop. I'm not getting back in my van. Not yet, at least. I can hear a secondary coming. I'm going to wait for, for him and sell him some drugs. <laughs> this is going to be fucking amazing. Alright, stop rummaging through your van. Get back into the driver's seat. Hey, look, man. I'm at my van. Here, try a free sample. It's the best Viagra in town. Here you go. It's a great pill. Just pop it in your Sir, mouth, I'm swallow. I'm not going to ask you again. Get back into your van. I'm at my van, dude. I'm not gonna walk off, it's fine. Get back into your van, I'm not gonna ask you again. I'm at my van. Jesus. Get in your van, for my safety please. Oh, you're perfectly safe, officer. This only shortens your lifespan by a few days, it's fine. I can hear a charger. Sir, please get back into your van. God, you dudes are so hard. Do you want to be even harder? Come on, man, this is a great sales pitch. Work with me here. I can hear a cop car. There it is. Sir, 
I'm I'm being as patient as I can be, but I'm gonna need you to get back into your vehicle, okay? I can't I can't do what I need to do with you rummaging around through your vehicle and trying Fine. to offer me stuff. You need to get back into the driver's seat. Hey Trooper, do you wanna buy some Viagra? It's the best Viagra in town. Here you go, hey. try a free sample. Hey, do I step away? Walk back towards your vehicle. Look, 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 it's simple. All you gotta do, put it in your mouth, swallow, you'll be the hardest Walk guy in town. Walk back towards your vehicle or you're gonna be placed under arrest. Walk back to your God, vehicle God, you now. guys are hard. Well. <laughs> okay, so... Originally, he took a turn down the road. Um... Like, further over this way. And... I flipped around because it just seemed interesting. He didn't even yield before he turned right. And then I get behind him up here at the light over here and he goes out of the sh straight lane into the turn and immediately turns right. Then once I finally get him stopped, he gets out of his car and approaches my vehicle and tries selling me some type of juice or pills or something and then starts rummaging around through his vehicle and started putting pills in baggies. So I don't know what's going on with this guy, but he he's making me nervous. <laughs> I don't fucking blame you, but yeah, I'll be here to back you up. You're making me nervous. Yeah, no fucking shit, dude. Approaching officer while he's on stop. I know it's. I've had it happen a couple times, and I'm gonna be uh, ready for this. <laughs> definitely terrifying. But all right. Here you go, here you go, here's your free sample, my dude. No, <laughs> put the baggie back on the dashboard. Ah, it's yours now, have it. Here keep you your go. hands, keep your hands on the steering wheel where I can see them. Do you have any weapons in the vehicle I need to know about? Oh, hell no, just the drugs. Hey man, here you go, try one. It's a free sample. One per customer. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna take it. Put it back on the dashboard. You sure? Here's another sample. <laughs> If you keep offering me stuff, I'm gonna place you under arrest, okay? So you need to knock it off. For what? Offering a kind gesture, salesman? Here you go, here's another free sample. You're basically giving drugs to an officer of the law. No, I'm giving you a you free sample. That. Hey, Trooper, here you go, free sample. One per customer, here you go, here's another one. <laughs> Leans in and takes key. Hey! I guess I should turn the engine off now then. Uh. Alright, do you know why I pulled you over today? Not a clue. Here you are. Here's another free sample. <laughs> I pulled you over. I'm telling you again, if you offer me one more sample or try and hand something else to me, I'm gonna pull you out of your vehicle. You need to stop. There's more in the back if you need more. It's five dollars okay, a pill. I had a I had a call about no more than 20 minutes ago of an individual who woke up on the side of the highway saying that he doesn't know anything happened, but a man talked to him at the Yellow Jack last night and he doesn't know what happened. And from what it looked like to me, is it looked like he got drugged. So <laughs> and now you're offering drugs to us and. You see the connection here, why I'm a bit suspicious of stuff? What are you doing? Hey man, here you go, here's your free sample. And yeah, there's no connection. This is just simple, old Viagra, it makes you hard. Am I gonna get in shit for this? I genuinely did nothing. Yeah, just pop it in your mouth, swallow. You'll be the, the toughest, the hardest guy in town, your wife will love you. <laughs> What did I tell you would happen if you offered one of us drugs one more time? I mean, how many okay. do you want, man? Work with out of, me. Out of the van. Get, get out of the out car. Of the van. What for? Out of the van. Let's you go. Get out yourself out. or I'll help you out. Look, here you go. Here's another free sample. This will calm you down. Face the van. Hey, look, Matt. I'll, I'll stop, by I'll stop the van. giving you free samples, yeah? Just chill. Face the van. It's too late for that. Face the van. God, you people are bad. I'll hook him up. Alright. You're the only people ever to resist free samples. You you guys are like nuts. <laughs> when you offer a drug... When you offer drugs to cops, that's not exactly a smart idea. 
Is Viagra it's legal? It, unfortunately, it, it's not. If it's food, that's different. If it's drugs, then you're just asking to get arrested. And when you walk up to an officer's vehicle on a traffic stop, that's a cause to get shot. You don't ever walk up to an officer's vehicle when you are on a traffic stop. Look, man, it is food. You put it in your mouth and swallow. Alright, well, at this time, we're going to take you back to my car, and you're going to be put in there for now. You're at being detained at this time. On suspicion of? You better not take any. I know exactly how many pills are in there. So what am I being detained on suspicion of? Suspicion of selling narcotics, sir. Legal narcotics. I'm a licensed vendor. <laughs> Thousand-ish <laughs> pills. All right, he said he's. Uh, nothing. Just he's... get him for like, just get him for obstruction of justice. Then I mean, vending as well. As well. I mean, he's gonna fine for obstruction of justice because he's not, you know, he's really getting the line of our work here. Viagra. A fine for it. <laughs> yeah, just give him a fine. Well, well uh, you can arrest him for it, but if. Uh, you can wrestle for it, hey, but the, uh, it's up to you what you do with them. <laughs> Finds a thousand ish dollar okay, pills and a license for vendors with documentation for Viagra patent pending. Yeah, he told me he's a licensed vendor, so unless he can show us. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you find it in there? Pills, you know, yeah, I got the document though. Just, I don't know, give him a fine, see if he wants to. Yeah. I mean, I can I can give him his choice. I can either get him for the red light and the improper lane change. Right on red. Or he can pick between obstruction of justice and those two. I mean, it's really <laughs> up to him. Or I can hit him with all three if he really wants to. We told him multiple times to stop. He didn't. I'd hit him with the book. Really? Okay. I'd give him all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so nothing like a oh, They're asking for what's about to happen. I'll, uh, I'll write them up and... I'm gonna pay my bail. Not how yeah, they want I'll, it, though. Uh, I'll write them a ticket for all three, and I'll keep them in my car till I'm done writing it. Alright, sounds good. Alright, bud. Can I get your, can I get your name? Yeah, sure, it's Barry McCockiner, PhD. Doctor Barry McCockiner. <laughs> Alright, Mr. McCockiner, here's what we're doing. So, because you walked up to my vehicle, and we asked you multiple times to get back in and stop handing us stuff, and you kept handing us stuff, <laughs> at this time I'm going to be giving you a ticket for running a red light, because you went out of the lane there to turn right. It was right on red. Improper lane change. And I'm also going to be giving you, yes, but you were in a straight lane, so you cannot turn right at that point. And I will also be giving you another ticket for um, obstructing justice. So I'm I'm hitting you with three. You're lucky I'm not taking you to jail for obstruction of justice. I'm being nice and giving you a ticket. But, but here's the thing. Yeah, I'll accept the improper lane change, but I turned into the lane that allows me to go right on red, so I didn't run a red light. You did not turn in to the lane. Then you, you can't get me on the improper lane change. Lane, and then you went over to the lane change and ran the light. So I changed lane. Either I changed lane and you can't get me on the red light, or I went through a red light and you can't get me on the lane change. The two together don't make sense. Either I was in the correct lane or I wasn't, in which case I ran a red light. Good luck with that one, officer. Because they're saying I changed lane, but then How if I changed this? lane, How I about was... This? Okay. How about this? I'll hit you with the obstruction of justice, which you're you're going to get that either way, and I'm I'll not hit you for that. failure to yield to traffic... 
I'll get you with failure to yield to traffic device. Does that sound good? Sounds better. Okay. Then I'm, I'm going to cut you a little bit of slack as long as you can make a promise to me you're not going to harass officers on a traffic stop anymore. If they stop you, be patient and wait in your vehicle. Okay, I will And won't. wait till the end of the stop to ask them if they would like to try something. Say, would you like to try this? Don't say, here, take this. That's would you like to try some, some Viagra? No, I wouldn't. I don't need it. I think this is the first fine I'm All right, ever going to actually here's pay. here's what I'm doing. So, unfortunately, it states in the book that if you're obstructing, I am to take you to jail. I'm going to cut you some slack. I got you for failure to yield to a traffic device. So all you have to do is sign right here on the bottom stating that you admit it and that you'll pay it. And you can pay it right here right now or you can go and fight it. It's up to you. I would just recommend paying it right here right now since I'm already cutting you a lot of slack. Can I go to the station and pay it? Because I haven't got much cash on me at the moment and my wallet's at home. Yeah, you can you can pay it at the station. Um, <laughs> just you know, remember that you can't be you know doing that. It just it can't you know you can't just pull out in front of traffic like that. If there had been someone in that right hand lane and they were turning right, you would have hit them. I checked my mirror. Would have happened. Okay. I understand that, but, you know, there's always the blind spot. Your van has blind spots. I've driven the prison van, trust me. They're, all these vans have the same blind spot. Just go ahead and sign at the bottom. Yeah, I did. Um, you've been... It's a $2,000 <laughs> fine. It's payable. Just go and pay the fine and you'll be... Okay, alright? I'm cutting you a lot of slack. Okay, no worries. I'll go straight to the station. <laughs> alright, here's your ID and your license that we got out of the van. Thank you. And uh, as soon as my lights are off, you'll be free to get into your van and go, okay? Okay. <laughs> Have a good day. You too. Oh, I'm going to take the piss. Like, seriously. Do you not expect me not to? It's me. Anyone who's seen more than one of my videos will know that. I like to take the piss. That was close. Alright, let's go to the station and pay these fines then. Hey officer, I'm here to pay a fine. <laughs> Alright, how much was your fine? Uh, $2,000. Alright, go ahead and uh, pay it and then just sign the book right there in front of you. Okay, no worries. <laughs> Drops 4,000 pills. Of Viagra on desk and signs book. There you go. That's four thousand dollars. Uh, sorry, two thousand dollars. <laughs> Those are pills, sir, not money. Yep, five dollars a pill. That's five times four thousand. That's two thousand. No, you need. To, you need to pay in cash, oh, it wrong. can't be in pills. So if I didn't pay, repo guys would come to my house and take items to the value of $2,000. There's $2,000 of value right there. No, we need $2,000 in actual money. Are you sure you don't want to take the pills? I'm 100% certain it needs to be money if you're going to pay the fine. God damn it. <laughs> Pills. Uh. Back. Into. Back. Okay, here you go, one sec. Right. <laughs> uh, check. They spell it like that in the States, I think. To the value. So either you're gonna pay the fine in cash or. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Places large 
bag of pills on wind shield of crown vic there you go <laughs> free samples marked free sample ah <laughs> uh, that's great oh, i was tempted to hit that car car as i drove off then but nope i'm gonna behave but either way guys that is gonna do it for today thank you guys so much for watching this has been quite entertaining for me and uh, i will see you next time peace out guys